So, my name is Gerald. What we're going to do is go through a program that was sold by Lincoln many years ago or distributed with some of their other software that was used for welding procedure and welding performance qualification records. The program is called ArcWorks WeldCAD. You can't buy it from Lincoln anymore. They did have it on their site for quite a while where you could download it for free, uh, understanding there was no support offer offered for it any longer. It is a CAD program, but it's uh, its main power comes in the things that it can do related to welding. Okay, so I'm going to go through a few of those and let you take a look at them. Uh, you can still find the program out there on the internet, various places. Okay, uh, I don't know what the current licensing is for it. I don't know whether Lincoln sold the license to somebody else. I know that I saw some new software for CEI that looks very, very, uh, very similar to it, but still not quite as good. Anyway, I'm going to kind of go through creating a weld joint. Once the program's open, all you have to do is go up here to where it says Weld Draw, select Joint, select the weld type. Whenever I select a weld type, it will filter out what's available down here. We're going to do a groove weld on a butt joint with a single V. And we're going to use backing. Okay, the Draw Field option just turns off the fill in the graphic. Asymmetrical joint is if the joint is not even on both sides. Then it will ask me some questions about the rest of that. Compound joint for compound bevel. Hit the next button. You can put in my values for the material right here. You notice my root face is zero. I don't have a label for it because I don't want a label, but that actually will keep the label from occurring. But we can fix it in a minute. Hit next. I've got draw weld passes turned on. I can turn that off if I like. I can turn on pass numbers if I would like. And the number of passes, which is the number of beads in the joint, is there. Number of layers. I can detail those a little bit closer. Layer number one has one pass per layer. Layer number two has two passes per layer. And layer number three has three passes per layer. And I can also change some of the options about the passes. Click OK. Draw dimensions can be turned off and on. Use fractions if possible can be turned off and on. And ignore zero dimension. Okay, with this turned on, that zero root face that we had earlier will not show up as a dimension. With that turned off, it will. And I'll fix it in just a minute. Hit finish and place my joint. If I want to change something about the joint, I can just double click on it again and it will go through the same set of dialog boxes. I'll get to the part where it says ignore zero dimensions, click that, hit finish, and now you'll see that zero dimension is gone. There's quite a few ways you can get this drawing to another another file if you want to, or another program. Okay, But the ones that are over here that are native as far as save as, where you can change it to a different format, sometimes don't work very well. So I try to avoid those if at all possible. One of the easiest ways for me to do it is just to select it, right click, and copy. Now with it copied to the clipboard, I can paste it in almost any application that I want to. So I'll go ahead and open up the uh, AWSD 1.1 WPS form. I'll click over here in white space. Okay, I don't want to click right here. Let's see what it'll do. You notice it won't paste in there. If I click over here in the white space, hit edit paste. Now my, my graphic shows up. I've got to resize it. If you notice it showed up as a comment right here. So sometimes it's hard to click on it once we move it around some. Make it smaller. Put it in here. Okay now, now that I've got it in where the joint detail sketch goes, which is actually intended for text, it becomes a little bit harder for me to select it. Not a big deal in a PDF document. I just go over here. It actually shows up as a comment. And now it's selected and I can see it. Still not very easy to get a hold of to move. But at least I've got that much of it done. Okay. Delete that text. Once it's placed in that box, it becomes pretty difficult to move again. 
And there's a couple of ways you could overcome this, but that's one of the methods that I can use to get it to another document. And I can do the same thing in Microsoft Word, or uh, I'll just go ahead and open up Paint. There's Paint. Paste. There we go. I can crop it. And then I can save it in other file formats that are a little bit more uh, more updated, more likely to work in other, other programs. So that's drawing a weld joint. <clears throat> There's other options where you can draw just individual weld beads. Okay. You can draw welding symbols. Change the property of it so we can see it. change the size of it. There we go. So it's a pretty quick down and dirty way to make some welding symbols, uh, make some joint sketches, draw some bead profiles. Uh, it actually has an option for drawing a torque. I'm just drawing showing travel angles and work angles so it's kind of it's kind of neat that way again I'm not sure what the current licensing requirements are uh, I know I've had it on my machine since I don't know it's been it's been early 2000s the other program that's available to do this same thing with is from CEI I believe it can be downloaded on the internet. It's called Weld Toolbox Cat. So here it is. Uh, not much of a menu system. Go ahead and maximize it. I believe that's the joint wizard. So a little bit larger. And hit finish. That's it. The bad thing about this one is I cannot figure out how to save it as another file format. It looks like it just shows as a WTCAD file. I can select it, but it doesn't seem to give me the option to copy. Okay, I can select it with my box. Nothing happens. No, no option to right click or copy it. Okay, I do have the option up here to save the design as a bitmap. But as far as copying and pasting it directly into another another program, doesn't look like it's going to happen. Okay. There are other things up here that can be drawn, and I'm not exactly sure. They look like flowchart symbols, but not nearly as many features as the program from Lincoln. And that's really, those are really about the only two programs that I know of that are specifically for drawing welded joint designs and weld symbols. Uh, that doesn't mean you can't get some scripts for some other programs or that there's something out there that, you know, that does this also. These are just two that I'm familiar with. If you've got any questions, you know, put them in the comments down there. Uh, I'll do a search. I, I'm pretty sure that I posted links to this before somewhere. But if you do a search for WeldCAD, Lincoln Arcs, or ArcWorks, you should be able to find it and install it. Uh, it's running on a Windows 10 machine just fine. I've, I've seen people say, well, these old programs won't run. It runs on mine fine. This, I've got a 64-bit machine running Windows 10, and I've never really had a problem with this, this program running on it. Thank you for your time. I appreciate you listening to me run my mouth about welding.